You guys have probably heard his voice, but now you get a chance to see him. Yankees PA announcer, Paul Olden. Paul, thank you so much for hopping on the feed, and we got a bunch of your social media posts to show you. You ready to check them out? Sure. You are the PA announcer here at Yankee Stadium. Yeah, yeah. Well, we added another microphone in our booth just in case one microphone goes out. Uh, and I said, hey, this would look pretty good together, both microphones. And so I, I, this is one of my self-portraits. And out of all the names that you've said here at Yankee Stadium, what's the one that kind of stands out most to you that you've said into these microphones? Well, I mean, uh, Aaron Judge, because I'm able to really give it a, a good uh, 99 Aaron Judge. And the crowd always goes wild. And I always think when the game is underway, and I say, and number 99, anybody who's in the upper deck who's not paying attention to the game, as soon as they hear me say, number 99, oh, wait a minute, whatever you're doing, he's up. i got to watch. <laughs> so that's like, a, like a, a little uh, tease for them to pay attention to the game when he comes up. <laughs> that's a good tidbit. <laughs> Next one, we got a throwback. A fan sent you this? No, well, yeah, he, he sent me it to autograph, but uh, that's, that's from my Pacific Coast League days. Wow. Uh, this was taken in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It was about 90 degrees that day, but I love that sweater. And I said, I gotta wear this sweater on camera. Uh, so that was my lone minor league baseball card. And it's still floating around wow. uh, amongst collectors these days. Wow, all right, yeah. there you, know, you go. The, the hair, I got the nice uh, fro going uh, and the nice relaxed look. But again, it's like 90 degrees in Albuquerque that day, but I didn't care, all for fashion. That's so cool. Which you've been in baseball for so long. Yeah. You have a lot of great relationships. <laughs> Here you are at Shea Stadium with Tommy Lasorda. This is a special picture yeah. that you get to. And the last time I saw Tommy was in 2004 when the Yankees opened the season in Japan. And I was with Tampa Bay broadcasting the Rays games. And he was there as an ambassador. That's the last time I saw him. All right, so from the PA announcer booth, you take some really good pictures. Yeah. Here's one of Aaron Judge and you actually happen to have the camera with you here today? I have the little Canon point and shoot that has a 40x zoom. You need that for that reach. But yeah, the light was just beautiful that day and Aaron was standing on deck. And I said, this is the perfect picture. Look at the sun, look at the colors. And uh, just between announcing batters, I like to take pictures. And uh, you know, Bob Shepard, my predecessor, used to read Western novels uh, during the downtime in the booth. I like to take pictures. You guys have got to check out Paul's pictures. He takes so many good ones. And he likes to get creative too. Yeah. Here you are with an Anthony Rizzo home run. And you got your one of your moon shots yeah, in there too with the United. I, I, I was just uh, fooling around with doing composites, uh, which is very, uh, you take one picture and you marry it with a different picture. And I thought, hey, that would look funny doing that. And it was a perfect full moon that night. And so I just matched him up and he was rounding the bases after. A, I, that's probably a game winning home run. On and he's you know, gesturing to his fans and, the, and his buddies who are going to be dumping him with Gatorade when he comes <laughs> around. Uh, but I said, you know, that would look funny if I just matched up the ball and make it look like he's carrying a big balloon. <laughs> you didn't take this one from the moon that we just saw, no. but this one you took from, I'd imagine, a plane or a helicopter. Yeah, yeah no, we have, I, was, I think I was flying to uh, the West Coast or maybe flying to Atlanta or something like that. And we just happened to fly over Yankee Stadium. And I said, wow. And I had a window seat of that particular trip. Because uh, you can see that it looks like he's either getting ready for a soccer configuration or football. It was during the off season. Uh, so I said, I gotta get that shot. And it turned out beautifully. You also love to run. You yeah. had an amazing running streak. Yeah. Tell everybody how long your running streak was. And also too, obviously some story behind this photo right here at Down Tampa. Four years, four years running streak, uh, running at least one mile a day every day for four years. That streak came to an end because I pretty much wore myself out and I had some injuries. Uh, but I've started a new streak and I'm approaching, as we record this, uh, day number 100 in a row, uh, running at least a mile. And the legs feel good, so I don't know if I'm gonna do another four years, but at least I'm running again, which I'm very happy about. So this was after one of the uh, sprint to spring 5Ks at Steinbrenner Field. They hold each spring now uh, to kind of get everybody into the mood for baseball. Let's have a 5K at Steinbrenner Field. So that's a lot of fun. And this picture just, <laughs> It's, it's just so relaxing. You got the fire going, you got yeah. the tree behind you. I love this picture. Yeah, this is at Lucy and Bill's house in North Carolina. Okay. <laughs> friends of mine from uh, Florida. And so they moved to North Carolina. And I said, this is the 
great uh, relaxed shot at Christmas time around the tree. I couldn't pass that up. And here you go. There we go. The final photo is something that you love to do. Yeah. Take photos of dogs and you got a lot of great beautiful dog photos. Yeah, I started uh, getting into dogs and pet photography in January. Okay. Uh, and it's something that I think I'm going to try to develop into a little side business uh, down the line. But right now it's, it's all portfolio building so that picture is part of, will be part of the portfolio so I can sell myself to clients and, and, and really do a good job maybe not only in local in Florida and New York but the destination photography as well because people love their dogs right they love your <laughs> yeah. dog and they will nice. pay whatever to get something yeah. for their dog especially if it makes them look great which is exactly what you're doing there's so many different types of dogs too that we see oh, on your yeah. Instagram page yeah. so do you have a favorite type of breed or a favorite type of size dog that you like to take photos well, of the golden retrievers I like the big uh, statuesque dogs but then the smaller dogs too have their have their place and they're really easier to take a picture of especially to get in close to get those eyes uh, but I, I want to do the big 24 by 36 wall hanging stuff not just stuff that you just look at on your phone or a five by seven I want the big photos <laughs> because people want to remember their dogs in life and if they're not around anymore uh, that's something that I think uh, a lot of people will be interested in having a beautiful portrait of their dog that's done professionally, that not just a, a cell phone snap. Amazing. So a dog lover, a baseball lifer, and for anybody out there who doesn't follow you just yet, what can fans expect from your Instagram page, and why should people follow you? Uh, I need followers. <laughs> I always need followers. So PSO Picks on, uh, on Instagram, uh, and NYYPA Guy on Instagram as well. See, I have two separate ones now, one strictly for the dogs, and then one for all the other uh, types of photos I like to take. Uh, but I think uh, they'll, if you like animals, then you, you'll love uh, my, my Instagram page. And what else can I say? Paul, thank you so much for hopping on the feed. Appreciate it. My pleasure.